My name is Peter Apfelbaum, and I'm originally from Berkeley, California, and it's really great to come back here to California. Um, I had the opportunity to come through the Berkeley school system in the 60s and 70s, and the great thing about that was we had a really strong jazz program. We had a jazz band and an orchestra in school. And they were both great because I love all kinds of music and I started music early. I started on drums and then went to piano. And by age 11, I was playing saxophone too. But when we had a choice about whether to join the orchestra or the jazz band, the choice was pretty clear because the jazz band was the one with the drum set. So I wanted to go there. I didn't really know what jazz was, but my mom and dad gave me some Art Blakey records and a Max Roach record. And I had been listening to the Beatles and trying to play like Ringo Starr. So I just jumped into the jazz band and before I knew it I was learning blues, gospel music, some rock and roll, and basically learning all kinds of music. And as I grew up uh, throughout my teenage years in Berkeley, the great thing about being in the Bay Area was we had all kinds of music there. We had free concerts we could go to, we'd go to see a traditional Chinese group, a folk group, an Irish group, we might go to a John Cage uh, performance and it was free. So still when I was 15, 16, I wasn't really thinking about different stylistic boundaries, but I was getting a whole lot of ideas. And by the time I was 17, I, I started my own group, which I still have today at the age of 51. It's called the Hieroglyphics Ensemble. And I started it with a lot of my fellow musicians from Berkeley High School. And it was based in jazz, and most of us had jazz training, but we kind of wanted to take into this group one of the fundamental ideas of jazz, which is something that we're doing here at the Truckee Jazz Workshop, which is to talk about the fact that jazz is a music of ideas. And basically, that transcends all style. That means that if somebody comes along who has an, uh, a new idea of a way to approach a song or put a song together, or even a new way to build a song, that is the spirit of jazz. And I've kept this group going for most of my life. I moved to New York 15 years ago. I have a New York version of the Hieroglyphics, and I write for the band. Um, but I also play with a lot of other groups, and the musicians I like to play with best are also people who maintain that basic idea that it's all about ideas. And um, since I've been in New York, I've been working with people like Omar Sosa, a great pianist from Cuba who lives in Spain. Uh, he does sort of like folk music, but in a very improvisational way. Um, I work with another musician from Berkeley, one of my oldest friends, Stephen Bernstein. Uh, he lives in New York and we do the music of Sly Stone. We'll do old jazz like Fletcher Henderson and Duke Ellington. We'll do Levon Helm. Uh, we'll do Led Zeppelin. And it's all good. And we see it as all music that has potential for creative development. Um, another musician I had a lot of fun working with was Trey Anastasio from the group Fish. I had gotten an opportunity to tour with Fish in the 90s. Um, and then Trey asked me to be in his solo project from 2001 to 2006. Um, there again was a situation where I got to apply my writing and composing. I wrote horn parts for him and even helped him write tunes. What I loved about being around him, even though Trey is not a traditional quote-unquote jazz musician, he very much embodies the jazz aesthetic because he's got a million ideas and that was one reason it was so fun to work with him. Um, it was just like working with, with any musician who has a lot of ideas. Um, you wake up in the morning with an idea for a song and you say, hey, where can we go from here? And you kind of build it together. Um, so I came back to California with Trey. We played uh, close to here in 2006 up in uh, Eureka in San Francisco and Santana, Carlos Santana, the great guitarist came and played with us. Um, so I've had a lot of fun coming back to California um, with various groups. Um, I'll be playing in August doing a duo performance at Berkeley's Freight and Salvage with Josh Jones, a drum teacher who's been up here for many years. We're just doing a piano and congas uh, concert, just piano and percussion. So that's what I do professionally, and the great thing about coming here to Truckee and the great thing about the Moody's Jazz Camp is that this is a situation where students from ages 10 to 18 can come without any particular preparation for this camp and get encouraged to bring ideas of their own to it. 
So just today we took a tune by Adam Thies, the trombone player. He brought in a tune none of us had seen today. The teachers, uh, we all played it first. And then all the students learned it, broke off into groups and learned it. And in my keyboard class, which is the main instrument I'm focusing on up here, we started, after we learned the tunes, I started to ask questions to the kids about what they could uh, bring to it. Like, how should we start this? What should be in the middle? What would be a good way to build it? And we talked about soloing. And then the kids really got into it. And we just performed it. And everybody wanted to solo. That is kind of the most gratifying thing of all. A few kids hit some notes they didn't mean to hit. A few kids did a dramatic gliss and maybe went off the end of the keyboard. But the beautiful thing is they're trying things. And this is a situation which is very non-competitive. Um, we do have goals for them to learn things, but we also all try to be patient and let them learn at their own pace. And the great thing about it is at the end of camp every day, they all play the stuff together and then they just want to keep playing it. A lot of students didn't even want to leave today. So that's really gratifying. Thank you.